Hello everyone, welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. Today's video is brought to you by Wackerash Gaming in collaboration with Kratos team. Many of you may not be aware, recently the developers have confirmed that the hero training area will be expanded to all states in version 1.15.20. This is expected to be rolled out by mid-April 2022. Many of us in the old states do not have this function, so grab your notepad, listen up and be prepared. In this video, I'll attempt to provide you the full overview of the Hero Training Center, tips on how to make your heroes stronger, and how this would be beneficial to all the mammals and homo sapiens out there. If you like my videos, please do go bananas on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. What is a Hero Training Center? It's part of the Heroes Headquarters where you can make heroes to the max level from the start, depending on the rank and level of the assigned instructors. So for example, if your instructor hero assigned is rank general and level 80, even if you do not have enough experience book to max your other heroes, you can max your hero level to level 80 by assigning him in the hero training center. The second amazing feature is where you can reset the level of unwanted heroes and obtain experience books back to be reused for other new heroes. You do not lose any experience books and there are no penalties when resetting your heroes. What are the benefits of hero training center? As we know it takes ages to level up your heroes, especially in the long term, with the amount of heroes that state of survival will release now and into the future. The Hero Training Center will reduce the burden on players to do repetitive tasks, remove the need for players to spend bio caps in the VIP store buying experience books, and especially improve the gaming experience. Also, as you know when you level up the heroes to level 80, you obtain the maximum amount of march capacity. Finally for the old states which do not have Hero Training Center, this feature brings in some level playing field in Alliance Showdown, where your state meets other states, whom are able to max their heroes to level 80 within the first week, and you are there wondering. How the heck have they achieved it so fast? As we know, March capacity is one of the factors needed to be successful in Alliance Showdown. Who should be the instructors? The Hero Training Area will automatically pick your three strongest heroes and assign them as your instructors. The most easiest heroes to rank up would be Travis, Rusty and Sarge, especially those precious fragments that you can obtain in-game to upgrade these heroes to rank general. You should aim to use the experience books obtained to also level up these three heroes uniformly until they hit level 80. Thus any heroes assigned to the training area will automatically replicate the levels of Travis, Rusty or Sarge. This will ultimately mean you will have legendary heroes at level 80, thus giving you that almighty march capacity boost very early on. Whereas for older state players, like myself, the game will automatically pick the three strongest heroes, this being Derek, Essie, and Arthur. Which heroes to use into the training area? You can only select up to a maximum of 15 heroes to be trained in the hero training center. Ultimately, these heroes will pick up the level of your assigned instructors automatically. Now in my opinion, if you are a new player to the state of survival, then you should assign all legendary heroes first, followed by the epic heroes, finally the elite heroes. This method will boost your battle power and also enable you to have bigger march capacity for your legendary heroes. However, in older states like mine, the limitation is more likely on the legendary heroes since most of the folks would have got all the epic heroes and the elite heroes maxed out a long time ago. Therefore for older state players, my opinion would be to reset the hero levels to level 1 and have all the experience book returned. I will talk more about this feature in a few minutes. I would recommend assigning epic heroes, followed by legendary heroes that are not really useful. Finally, if you still find elite heroes valuable, for sure add the elite heroes. This method should free up those valuable experience books for you to level up the most precious of your legendary heroes. What is this hero level reset? In this page here, you can actually reset any heroes that gained experience either through completing explorer missions or which you have leveled up using the experience books. You don't actually lose anything here, when you reset your hero, you gain back all the experience books into your backpack. You can then use these experience books to upgrade any heroes of your preference. In my situation for example, with the release of generation 10 heroes, Laura, Koner and Strings, I'm utterly excited for this new feature to be released to the older states, so I can just reset some of my older epic and elite heroes, to then be able to level up Laura, Koner and Strings to level 80 once they are ranked general. You are probably wondering, what are the benefits of the fake hero level 80 versus real hero level 80? 
both of the fake hero level 80 and the real hero level 80 will actually have the same march capacity. So there is no significant difference here. The only difference will be your hero battle power. The hero BP will then feed into your overall battle power score by either increasing it or decreasing it, depending on what you do. Also, let's not forget, the hero battle power leaderboard will be affected as you adjust your heroes through the hero training center. Now let me share with you a neat trick. Heroes assigned in the heroes training center, I call them fake level 80 heroes, have this bluish level 80 mark. So I've assigned Travis, Mike, and Nicola to the training center, and they're actually at level 1. As I continue to complete explorer missions, they will actually gain experience points and end up automatically leveling up. Also the experience books obtained as rewards in the mission end up going into my backpack. At a later point in time, I can reset the hero levels of Travis Mike and Nicola back to level 1, and those previous experience books will end up being added into my backpack. So the point here is to use heroes that are at low levels for explorer missions to continue gaining those juicy experience books. So what are your thoughts as of now? For those of you in the old states that have been living without a hero training center, are you excited for this new feature? What about those of you watching my video from states that have the hero training area? Did you find the video useful? Well, leave a comment and let me know. Finally, you need to know there are some limitations with the hero training area. 1. You can only train up to 15 heroes at any one given time, so use the space wisely. 2. There is a 24 hours cooldown for changing the heroes in the hero training area, but you can eliminate the cooldown timer at a cost of 500 bio caps each time. 3. Make sure you keep 1 epic heroes at level 1, and do not assign them to the hero training area. This will allow you to complete your daily rewards points of use up to 5 combat manuals to grab those daily reward crates. Then I need to be clear that these information obtained are currently being tested and experienced in the latest PTR server. Whilst I do not expect to see significant changes, State of Survival reserves the right to make any changes before it hits to all states. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please do go bananas on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.